So how did you start doing wireless? Well, actually, uh, just running into uh, into some friends and um, and uh, talking with each other. What what was getting quite popular in uh, and I'm talking now late '80s, uh, mm -hmm. of the previous century. Early days of the PC revolution. Early days of the PC, but you had cordless phones. That's right. No cellular phones. That's well, right. they were just just being invented. But cordless phones were at, somewhat, and they were at 900 megahertz to 700. 900 megahertz. megahertz. These big things with yeah. these long antennas. Yeah. Yeah. So and and you know this was kind of um, uh, having a chat at an uh, at an McDonald's or uh, you know. There's uh, a McDonald's in Utrecht. There's a McDonald's in Utrecht, <laughs> and uh, we said. Would, That's sad. Would, now I'm now I'm sad. <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if there would be? Well, I mean, wouldn't be wouldn't it be nice if there would be something like Wi-Fi? We didn't call it Wi-Fi in those years, but just cordless phones. Why wouldn't you have cordless computers? What a convenience! Before uh, cordless phones, you had this long cord; you right. could get wrapped around right. you. Right. Um, so it was easy to see that that was a technology that made sense for consumers. That's what you would think, but we had products in uh, in the early 90s, and people didn't believe it could work. Um, they thought, you know, your data got lost in the air. Uh, people are concerned <laughs> about health. There were a they're thousand. They're still concerned about health. And they're still concerned about they health. They never stopped. Right? But um, now the very interesting thing is we had first products early uh, 1990, 1991, and the real market breakthrough was 1999 with, I can, a, with Apple. Yeah, you convinced Steve Jobs that Wi Fi was the thing. Well, I got a call from Steve Jobs that he was looking for something that, uh, that we had, something like wireless, that uh, he wanted to use to differentiate uh, his, uh, his iBook with compared to other laptops in the market. So laptops didn't have Wi-Fi? Uh, until 1999. You, you Ethernet connected them. What, you maybe remember these pocket LAN adapters. Yes, uh, I remember. You, they were you, like a you, credit card. They were the PCMCIA cards. No, even before that, you had uh, you plugged it into your printer port, and, oh, then, and then you plugged your That's Ethernet right. card in there. It, it was a Centronics port on the back. Exactly, <sighs> exactly. I do remember that. That's and, you, what, and then it was really a modem, as much as. Uh, and you had the modems, right? Yeah. The, the what is it? The, exactly. Well, that, replacing that modem—that was the first thing. You know, yeah. you had always had that wire to yeah. the phone line, and yeah. we said, you know, can we do that wireless? Um, yeah. So replacing that wire was was the first. But the funny part is today, if I ask my son, do you know there was life before Wi-Fi? <laughs> you know, I was in the early 90s doing computer talk sh radio shows, and people would say, oh, yeah, we're going to build a house. What should we do for... Uh, it wasn't Internet in those days, because people weren't Correct. getting online to the mid-90s. Right. Uh, but So maybe it was a little bit later. And you'd always say, oh, yeah, well, you definitely want to put uh, Cat5 in the... Uh, in the wall and maybe coaxial cable. We have Cat5 in was, every room in our house. It's so wrong. <laughs> How knew? wrong can it be, right? How Who wrong? knew that it was going to, that was the wireless revolution totally took over.